Yes, I said it. Brent Taylor should be destined to be the favorite to win season six MVP of Roshi <laughs> as well. If you look at season five prior, Brent Taylor was the runner-up, I believe, in my opinion. He was in the top three, so I do think that being behind of Craig and Booker Pony. It should be a no-brainer that Brent Taylor should be the heavy favorite of being the MVP. Because I do think there's voters fatigue that have to come into play. I do think that Craig is an awesome roadster along with the emergence of Booger Pwn. I do agree that they are awesome. However, Brent will have to really, really bring the energy and really do his thing early on to sway the voters and I do think that he will be the best heavy favorite to win in my opinion. Brent Taylor, he is really funny and I do think given the opportunity, given the platform, if he don't miss any episodes, mind you, I do think that he would come out with, um, with a sense of urgency to not only put his name out there more, but to be able to do things and say things that we've never heard before. And it is going to be hard. It's not going to be easy if you ask me. We have persons like Craig that will always be in the runner-up, CP, and Boogapoon. Those fellas, and I do I do believe there are others, there, they may, there may be new persons that may come for season 6. But I do think those three will be heavy favorites on winning the MVP. But I do have Brent Taylor in the lead, in my opinion. It is going to be a hard fought one. I do think it's going to take all of the episodes to really find out who is going to be MVP. But mind you, it all, it all comes with momentum. If you have the momentum, if you have the fan base behind you, and if you're just doing your thing, the fans will have your back. I do believe that. That's the same thing will happen with Boo with season 5. Although Boo may have went to detention a few times, because of his ability to still tell good jokes when it, when it is not even funny, it is still sometimes really entertaining on how he delivers. So all Brent have to do is be himself, be himself, just attack more and wherever the chips may fall, I do think that should be enough for him to win, but I don't know, I don't know if they're going to bring more persons on the platform, but I'm doing, I'm going to be looking out for new faces if they're going to bring Dontario on, who knows. They may bring someone out we've never seen before. Who knows? So it is all up in the air. Will CP attend more episodes? Who knows? Now if he do, it's going to be a battle. I would have to put CP in there if CP do attend more. But we'll see. There won't be that much of David Lucas because he did mention in the last episode of season 5 that he won't be available as much. So, because of that, it is really going to be interesting. But, I don't, I don't feel as though there isn't going to be any threat between Betty Sorrells or even the others. Because I don't feel as though they, they have the momentum carried over. And they, they just have to work on their craft, you know? But uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But my thoughts is... That Brent Taylor will be the season six MVP. You hear it here first. And if you do win MVP, please comment below on this video and say you heard it here first. But um, let me know in the comments below who do you think is going to be the MVP of season six. And if not, if you think it is going to be Craig or even Booker Pwn, let me know. If any one of them win MVP. That will be the first two-time MVP winner of Roast Me. So, it is really going to be a tight race, in my opinion. So, let's figure it out. And let's see how wonderful the season is going to be. Let's go.
And if you haven't watched my last video of Pokemon roasting fans, check it out. What's up, man? Get out your mama's uh, kitchen, nigga, and give us some money, nigga. What you doing?